now we'll see radiation formula radiation formula heat transfer equals q equals epsilon uh, sigma a t s power 4 t o power 4 so surface temperature and other body temperature the stephen boltzmann constant sigma is equals 5.67 10 power minus 8 watt per meter square and k power 4 kelvin okay absolute temperature on surface uh, ts kelvin so kelvin means capital t uh, capital k so don't write small k uh, small k means kilo we write small k but when we write temperature uh, kelvin we write capital k okay that is standard notation from si unit absolute temperature surrounding uh, temperature like to again kelvin surface emissivity okay emissivity you can write e or epsilon one for black body uh, black body means uh, the perfect absorber or perfect emitter right so epsilon equal to 1 for black body range uh, 0 to 1 surface area a meter square now you see the problem a body is kept in a room at a temperature of 20 degrees cent uh, centigrade uh, data is given emissivity is given okay surface area given 300 centimeter square you should, uh, no, should note down this uh, unit temperature 220 degree centigrade calculate initial value of net emit power emitted by the body use stefan boltzmann law so this law you have to use actually so q equals epsilon uh, sigma a ds uh, power 4 to power 4 so from that you can get 69.4 watt okay the electromagnetic actually radiation is actually electromagnetic wave electromagnetic wave known as radiation thermal this is electromagnetic wave i will write it electromagnetic wave okay uh, thermal radiation is emitted by every particle having a temperature greater than or absolute greater than the absolute zero so at absolute zero it will not be emitting any radiation but uh, greater than absolute zero all particle will be radiating some energy and mobility of particle inside the body in what causes the thermal radiation okay the motion is wholly stopped at absolute zero the particle will not move at absolute zero which is why the body at absolute zero does not admit any radiation whereas anything above absolute zero does okay and black body so black body is a perfect emitter or absorber or absorber and you can write okay a absorber okay <coughs> now whenever talking about heat the few terms you have to remember uh, latent heat sensible heat super heat okay those terms will be using when will be i'll be teaching you uh, steam engine uh, boiler systems so if i take water at constant pressure let's say you have one vessel and again you have one chula okay and you are boiling water what will happen initially you are boiling but there is no steam coming out actually you, you cannot see any steam so after a certain time only you can see steam coming out bubbles are getting created and lots of steam is coming out right so you are boiling actually in one atmosphere pressure you are not increasing any temperature but if you have any pressure vessel let's say pressure cooker okay uh, you have any pressure cooker uh, so in, in that case you will have one whistle that high pressure system so in that case you are increasing pressure actually the normal open vessels it will be working as at one atmospheric pressure so initially you are giving heat it is not creating lots of bubbles and not creating lots of steam so that is uh, that time it is increasing temperature let's say initially you are taking water at 20 degree and it is reaching to 100 degree centigrade temperature right so that temperature is called uh, sensible heat you put one thermometer thermometer will show temperature uh, thermometer will show temperature increasing from uh, 20 to 100 okay so this is called sensible heat use thermometer okay uh, 
thermometer will be showing your temperature and at 100 degree centigrade you get you give lots of heat your fuel is burning your coal or wood or uh, gas burning but your temperature will not increase the thermometer will be showing 100 only what is happening at 100 degree centigrade your phase change occurring phase change occurring means water will be steam okay so this is called latent heat so some heat latent means hidden some heat will be hidden in in the steam water 100 degree centigrade whatever energy was there when it is becoming steam its energy will be higher so some energy is hidden but you cannot capture in thermometer okay that's why it's called latent heat okay so boiling water is happening so latent heat will be there so that time you, you are giving lots of heat but nothing is happening i mean temperature is not shown in thermometer then uh, after that uh, one condition will be coming called super heat okay uh, and liquid when you are reducing temperature let us say 20 degree to 10 degree 5 degree 0 degree 0 degree again phase change will be occurring it will be solid okay again that is called latent heat during solidification liquid to gas uh, liquid to solid ice formation will be there so that time also you reduce temperature reduce temperature but thermometer will not show it will show only 0 degree centigrade temperature so that temperature is again called latent heat hidden heat okay ice is there increased temperature 0 degree centigrade ice 0 degree centigrade water amount of energy inside ice and inside water will be different water will be more energy actually okay because this 0 degree centigrade lots of hidden heat water has taken from okay from surrounding uh, so that's why ice will be melted because ice um, water particle will get more resonance and it will be uh, having more heat inside and ice specific heat capacity 2.1 kilojoule per kg uh, melting ice latent heat so these values actually you have to remember okay liquid water specific heat capacity 4.2 kilojoule per kg per k uh, boiling water when happening latent heat you have to remember 2 to 6 5 kg per kg okay now uh, open vessel you uh, boiled and you got 100 degree centigrade but after that you cannot measure because water temperature will not increase right uh, pressure also you are not changing but in case if you have one pressure cooker so pressure cooker if you put inside one thermocouple inside pressure cooker so temperature will increase increase in it will cross 100 100 1 2 3 4 120 and it will go your pressure cooker whistle will be noise will come okay uh, then what is happening inside pressure increased inside pressure increase so boiling point also increase so normally inside pressure cooker uh, pressure will be uh, two bar or two times of atmospheric pressure and your boiling point will be around 120 degrees centigrade okay so how to show this one on a graph so then in that case we draw one ts diagram okay ts diagram and this goes saturation line okay saturation line means the left side this side this side is a liquid zone this side gas okay and inside gas will be there what is happening initially you take water at 20 degree centigrade temperature let us say here a point a you increase temperature it will reach to 100 degree okay this temperature in left side right so 100 degree centigrade it will reach 20 degree centigrade then phase change will be occurring here okay c to d so so a to c your latent heat and c to d uh, your sorry a to c your um, sensible heat c to d your latent heat okay and d to further if you go up that will be occurring as a super heat it will be gaseous state but uh, it will be having a little bit more energy than in a ac or dc zone so de may be okay now this is normal uh, your normal vessel a to c c to d you can check but if you have pressure cooker so pressure cooker pressure will be increasing okay so in that case your 
curve will be like this upper curve. Uh, Let us say small a, small b, small c, uh, small a, c. Okay, I have not given b. Okay, then yes, c, then d, e. So, if you have pressure cooker, then your temperature will be increasing the boiling temperature. You can see this boiling temperature increased. Okay, and this line a c d e is constant pressure line constant pressure line constant pressure okay and a c capital a capital c capital d capital e this line is constant pressure line okay uh, so if you are increasing temperature uh, if you are increasing pressure your boiling to point will also increase, but if you are reducing pressure, boiling point or uh, boiling point will be also reducing. So, pressure cooker uses this uh, uh, philosophy. If you increase the pressure, boiling point will increase. So, at higher temperature, actually cooking your food, okay. And this uh, diagram, T S diagram, S means entropy, T means temperature, okay. Later, we will be using extensively for refrigeration system design for your steam turbine steam system in boiler also we will discuss okay so you have one sensible heat zone then latent heat zone then super heat zone super heat zone means your system what uh, uh, water or fluid any fluid whatever you take any lean or anything it will be boiled after that also we are adding heat okay you are containing pressure pressure con constant and you are adding more heat so that area will be uh, called uh, super heat okay the super heat uh, thing we will be using later when uh, again I will discuss uh, during steam turbine design or refrigeration system design. In uh, previous classes, in previous week you have seen this entropy enthalpy definition. Again, we will define a little bit so that uh, later stage it will be easier to remember to calculate uh, uh, specific thing. So, enthalpy uh, formula is H E, E means inter internal energy. P pressure, V volume. If pressure and volume changing, internal energy also will be changing. So, en enthalpy also will be changing. So, enthalpy we get from Mollier diagram. Later, we will see how to calculate using Mollier diagram, but not this week, another week I will discuss. And entropy, the definition also you have seen the thermodynamic function used to measure the randomness or disorder, and it is coming from second law of thermodynamics. You already know. Heat definition also you know energy transfer from one body to another body. This is actually energy temperature, uh, physical quantity to express the coldness or hotness. So, thermometer will not show heat, it will show the temperature. So, temperature is the effect of heat. Okay. Thermodynamics process, so uh, there will be several process in thermodynamics, we already discussed actually, isochoric process, isobaric process, isothermal process, isentropic process. So, let us draw one figure, P V, that piston cylinder you can assume that pressure inside is there and this is my piston okay uh, so you compress it or decompress it so if it is isobaric process constant pressure isobaric okay and if it's vertical line this is point 0.1 uh, this is called I isochoric process isochoric process and if it is coming like this isothermal So, P V equals constant you can remember we discussed already and adiabatic P V power gamma equals constant adiabatic means heat transfer not happening isothermal means heat transfer happening ok. So, you should remember all these terms especially this isobaric, isochoric, isothermal, isentropic, isenthalpic all these terms you have to remember and how where we see this phenomena. In piston cylinder arrangement, we can see this phenomena in your steam turbine system. A steam turbine system later we will discuss actually in details. Again, we have to draw this envelope, TS diagram envelope. This is called envelope, vapor envelope. Okay. And phase change will be occurring, temperature increasing, and superheated thing will be coming. Then there will be one turbine. Okay, turbine. And turbine, uh, after turbine, there will be condenser. From condenser, one pump will be here. From pump, again, you are giving heat. So, let us say 1, 2, 3, 4 processes there. 
So what is happening? Pump will be pumping certain fluid and it will give to boiler. Okay, it heating will be starting one. One heating started. Okay, so heating is started, then what will happen? One to one dash, one to one dash, sensible heating. Okay, in boiler, temperature will be water temperature will be increasing to 100 degree or whatever required temperature. Then after that, phase change will be occurring. Phase change where occurring uh, one dash to one double dash. Okay, phase change. Phase change occurring or latent heat absorption will be happening or water will be converted to vapor. So, what is happening? One dash to one, one dash to one double dash. In between, actually, it will call two phase region. Okay. This this whole inside this one, this area called two phase region. Okay. One dash to one double dash, this phase change occurring, then one double dash to two, one double dash to two. This is called superheated region. Okay, superheat. And two to three, what is happening? Two to three. Two to three, two to three turbine work. Okay, so their entropy. We uh, ideally we assume entropy is constant, S equals constant. Okay, S equals constant, uh, constant, ideal, ideal case. In, but practically, S will not be constant actually. Again, three to four. What is happening? Three to four. Whatever water went, steam went to turbine. Turbine took energy out. Then after that, the same steam will be having lower temperature, lower pressure. So that one you have to cool down, you have to make liquid. So phase change will be occurring in 3 to 4. So 3 to 4 phase change. Phase change, what will happen? Phase change. In 3 to 4, what will happen? Li gas is there, gas to liquid. Okay. So at 4 point, you got liquid water. Then liquid water you got, then pump it to uh, boiler again, 4 to 1. 1 again, let sensible heat, latent heat, super heat, turbine, condenser or cooling or phase change, steam to liquid, again pump. So, this cycle will go on in steam cycle. So, similar phenomena will be happening in your uh, refrigeration system, but that is completely opposite system. Okay. So, here you can see isobaric, which one isobar uh, condition is there, 3 to 4 actually isobaric condition, same pressure process will be happening, 1 to 2 same pressure process will be happening, but 2 to 3 pressure is changing. Okay, so there is some isobaric, some uh, isochoric, some uh, isentropic uh, process is there. Even isothermal process also there. Three to four isothermal process. Temperature not changing. Okay, so you should later we will discuss further. But you should identify which is isothermal, which is isobaric, which is isochoric. 